Methanol, also known as methyl alcohol among others, is a chemical with the formula CH3OH, a methyl group linked to a hydroxyl group, often abbreviated MEOH. Methanol acquired the name wood alcohol because it was once produced chiefly by the destructive distillation of wood. Today, methanol is mainly produced industrially by hydrogenation of carbon monoxide. Methanol is the simplest alcohol, consisting of a methyl group linked to a hydroxyl group. It is a light, volatile, colorless, flammable liquid with a distinctive odor similar to that of ethanol, drinking alcohol. Methanol is however far more toxic than ethanol. At room temperature, it is a polar liquid. With more than 20 million tons produced annually, it is used as a precursor to other commodity chemicals, including formaldehyde, acetic acid, methyl tert butyl ether, as well as a host of more specialized chemicals. Occurrence Small amounts of methanol are found in normal, healthy human individuals, concluded by one study which found a mean of 4.5 ppm in the exhaled breath of subjects. The mean endogenous methanol in humans of 0.45 grams d may be metabolized from pectin found in fruit. One kilogram of apple produces up to 1.4 grams methanol. Methanol is produced naturally in the anaerobic metabolism of many varieties of bacteria and is commonly present in small amounts in the environment. As a result, the atmosphere contains a small amount of methanol vapor. Atmospheric methanol is oxidized by air in sunlight to carbon dioxide and water over the course of days. Interstellar medium Methanol is also found in abundant quantities in star-forming regions of space and is used in astronomy as a marker for such regions. It is detected through its spectral emission lines. In 2006, astronomers using the Merlin Array of radio telescopes at Jodrell Bank Observatory discovered a large cloud of methanol in space, 288 million miles, 463 million kilometers across. In 2016, astronomers detected methyl alcohol in a planet-forming disk around the young star TW Hydra using ALMA radio telescope. Toxicity Methanol has low acute toxicity in humans but is dangerous because, together with ethanol, it is occasionally ingested in large volumes. As little as 10 milliliters US fluid ounces of pure methanol can cause permanent blindness by destruction of the optic nerve. 30 milliliters US fluid ounces is potentially fatal. The median lethal dose is 100 milliliters, 3.4 US fluid ounces, i.e. 1 to 2 milliliters per kilogram body weight of pure methanol. The reference dose for methanol is 2 milligrams per kilogram in a day. Toxic effects begin hours after ingestion, and antidotes can often prevent permanent damage. Because of its similarities in both appearance and odor to ethanol, the alcohol in beverages, it is difficult to differentiate between the two, such is also the case with denatured alcohol. Adulterated liquors are very low-quality alcoholic beverages. However, cases exist of methanol resistance, such as that of Mike Malloy, who was the victim of a failed murder attempt by methanol in the early 1930s. Methanol is toxic by two mechanisms. First, methanol can be fatal due to its CNS depressant properties in the same manner as ethanol poisoning. Second, in a process of toxication, it is metabolized to formic acid, which is present as the formate ion, via formaldehyde in a process initiated by the enzyme alcohol dehydrogenase in the liver. Methanol is converted to formaldehyde via alcohol dehydrogenase ADH, and formaldehyde is converted to formic acid formate, via aldehyde dehydrogenase ALDH. The conversion to formate via ALDH proceeds completely, with no detectable formaldehyde remaining. Formate is toxic because it inhibits mitochondrial cytochrome C oxidase, causing hypoxia at the cellular level, and metabolic acidosis. Among a variety of other metabolic disturbances, outbreaks of methanol poisoning have occurred due to contamination of drinking alcohol. This is more common in the developing world. In 2013, more than 1,700 cases occurred in the United States. Those affected are often adult men. Outcomes may be good with early treatment. Toxicity to methanol was described as early as 1856. Because of its toxic properties, methanol is frequently used as a denaturant additive for ethanol manufactured for industrial uses. This addition of methanol exempts industrial ethanol, commonly known as denatured alcohol or 
methylated spirit from liquor excise taxation in the U.S. and some other countries. Applications Heavy chemicals, formaldehyde, acetic acid, methyl ether. Methanol is primarily converted to formaldehyde, which is widely used in many areas, especially polymers. The conversion entails oxidation 2CH3OH plus O2 2CH2O plus 2H2O acetic acid can be produced from methanol. Methanol and isobutene are combined to give methyl tert butyl ether, MTBE. MTBE is a major octane booster in gasoline. Methanol to hydrocarbons, olefins, gasoline. Condensation of methanol to produce hydrocarbons and even aromatic systems is the basis of several technologies related to gas to liquids. These include methanol to hydrocarbons MTH, methanol to gasoline MTG, and methanol to olefins MTO, and methanol to propylene MTP. These conversions are catalyzed by zeolites as heterogeneous catalysts. The MTG process was once commercialized at Motunui in New Zealand. Gasoline additive The European Fuel Quality Directive allows up to 3% methanol with an equal amount of cosolvent to be blended with gasoline sold in Europe. China uses more than 1 billion gallons of methanol per year as a transportation fuel in low-level blends for conventional vehicles and high-level blends in vehicles designed for methanol fuels. Other chemicals Methanol is the precursor to most simple methylamines, methyl halides, methyl ethers. Methyl esters are produced from methanol, including the transesterification of fats and production of biodiesel via transesterification. Niche and potential uses Energy carrier Methanol is a promising energy carrier because, as a liquid, it is easier to store than hydrogen and natural gas. Its energy density is however low reflecting the fact that it represents partially combusted methane. Its energy density is 15.6 MJ per liter, whereas ethanol's is 24 and gasoline's is 33 MJ per liter. Further advantages for methanol is its ready biodegradability and low toxicity. It does not persist in either aerobic oxygen present or anaerobic oxygen absent environments. The half-life for methanol in groundwater is just 1 to 7 days, while many common gasoline components have half-lives in the hundreds of days, such as benzene at 10 to 730 days. Since methanol is miscible with water and biodegradable, it is unlikely to accumulate in groundwater, surface water, air or soil. Fuel for vehicles Methanol is occasionally used to fuel internal combustion engines. It burns forming carbon dioxide and water 2CH3OH plus 3O2 2CO2 plus 4H2 a one problem with high concentrations of methanol in fuel is that alcohols corrode some metals, particularly aluminium. Methanol fuel has been proposed for ground transportation. The chief advantage of a methanol economy is that it could be adapted to gasoline internal combustion engines with minimum modification to the engines and to the infrastructure that delivers and stores liquid fuel. Its energy density is however only half that of gasoline, meaning that twice the volume of methanol would be required. Other applications Methanol is a traditional denaturant for ethanol, the product being known as denatured alcohol or methylated spirit. This was commonly used during the prohibition to discourage consumption of bootleg liquor, and ended up causing several deaths. Methanol is used as a solvent and as an antifreeze in pipelines and windshield washer fluid. Methanol was used as an automobile coolant antifreeze in the early 1900s. In some wastewater treatment plants, a small amount of methanol is added to wastewater to provide a carbon food source for the dentrifying bacteria, which convert nitrates to nitrogen gas and reduce the nitrification of sensitive aquifers. Methanol is used as a destaining agent in polyacrylamide gel electrophoresis. 
Direct methanol fuel cells are unique in their low temperature, atmospheric pressure operation, allowing them to be miniaturized to an unprecedented degree. This, combined with the relatively easy and safe storage and handling of methanol, may open the possibility of fuel cell powered consumer electronics, such as laptop computers and mobile phones. Methanol is also a widely used fuel in camping and boating stoves. Methanol burns well in an unpressurized burner, so alcohol stoves are often very simple, sometimes little more than a cup to hold fuel. This lack of complexity makes them a favorite of hikers who spend extended time in the wilderness. Similarly, the alcohol can be gelled to reduce risk of leaking or spilling, as with the brand. Sterno. Methanol is mixed with water and injected into high-performance diesel and gasoline engines for an increase of power and a decrease in intake air temperature in a process known as water methanol injection. Production From synthesis gas Carbon monoxide and hydrogen react over a catalyst to produce methanol. Today, the most widely used catalyst is a mixture of copper and zinc oxides, supported on alumina, as first used by ICI in 1966. At 5 to 10 MPa, 50 to 100 atmospheres, and 250 degrees Celsius, 482 degrees Fahrenheit, the reaction is characterized by high selectivity, greater than 99.8%. CO plus 2H2CH3 ode production of synthesis gas from methane produces 3 moles of hydrogen for every mole of carbon monoxide, whereas the synthesis consumes only 2 moles of hydrogen gas per mole of carbon monoxide. One way of dealing with the excess hydrogen is to inject carbon dioxide into the methanol synthesis reactor, where it, too, reacts to form methanol according to the equation. CO2 plus 3H2CH3OH plus H2 in terms of mechanism, the process occurs via initial conversion of CO into CO2, which is then hydrogenated. CO2 plus 3H2CH3OH plus H2O where the H2O byproduct is recycled via the water gas shift reaction. CO plus H2O CO2 plus H2, this gives an overall reaction, which is the same as listed above. CO plus 2H2CH3OH Biosynthesis The catalytic conversion of methane to methanol is effected by enzymes including methane monooxygenases. These enzymes are mixed function oxygenases, i.e., oxygenation is coupled with production of water. CH4 plus O2 plus NADPH plus H plus CH3OH plus H2O plus NAD plus both Fe and Cu dependent enzymes have been characterized. Intense but largely fruitless efforts have been undertaken to emulate this reactivity. Methanol is more easily oxidized than is the feedstock methane, so the reactions tend not to be selective. Some strategies exist to circumvent this problem. Examples include Shelef systems and Fe and Cu containing zeolites. These systems do not necessarily mimic the mechanisms employed by metalloenzymes, but draw some inspiration from them. Active sites can vary substantially from those known in the enzymes. For example, a dinuclear active site is proposed in the SMMO enzyme, whereas a mononuclear iron alpha oxygen, is proposed in the Fe zeolite. Quality specifications and analysis methanol is available commercially in various purity grades. Commercial methanol is generally classified according to ASTM purity grades A and AA. Methanol for chemical use normally corresponds to grade AA. In addition to water, typical impurities include acetone and ethanol, which are very difficult to separate by distillation. UV vis spectroscopy is a convenient method for detecting aromatic impurities. Water content can be determined by the Carl Fischer titration. History in their embalming process, the ancient Egyptians used a mixture of substances, including methanol, which they obtained from the pyrolysis of wood. Pure methanol, however, was first isolated in 1661 by Robert Boyle, when he produced it via the distillation of buxus boxwood. It later became known as pyroxylic spirit. In 1834, the French chemists Jean-Baptiste Dumas and Eugène Pelagot determined its elemental composition. 
They also introduced the word methylene to organic chemistry, forming it from Greek methy, alcoholic liquid, plus hyle, woodland, forest, with a Greek language error, xylent wood as a material would have been more suitable. Methylene designated a radical that was about 14% hydrogen by weight and contained one carbon atom. This would be CH2, but at the time carbon was thought to have an atomic weight only six times that of hydrogen, so they gave the formula as CH. They then called wood alcohol, l'esprit de bois, bihydrate de methylene, bihydrate because they thought the formula was C4H8O4, CH4, H2O2. The term, methyl, was derived in about 1840 by back formation from, methylene, and was then applied to describe, methyl alcohol. This was shortened to methanol in 1892 by the International Conference on Chemical Nomenclature. The suffix yl used in organic chemistry to form names of carbon groups was extracted from the word methyl. In 1923, the German chemists Alwin Mittisch and Matthias Peer, working for Badisch Anilin and Soda Fabric (BASF), developed a means to convert synthesis gas, a mixture of carbon monoxide, carbon dioxide, and hydrogen into methanol. U.S. Patent 1,569,775 U.S. 1,569,775 was applied for on 4 September 1924 and issued on 12 January 1926. The process used a chromium and manganese oxide catalyst with extremely vigorous conditions, pressures ranging from 50 to 220 atmospheres, and temperatures up to 450 degrees Celsius. Modern methanol production has been made more efficient through use of catalysts, commonly copper, capable of operating at lower pressures. The modern low-pressure methanol LPM, process was developed by ICI in the late 1960s US 3,326,956 with the technology now owned by Johnson Matthey, which is a leading licensor of methanol technology. During World War II, methanol was used as a fuel in several German military rocket designs, under the name M. Stoff, and in a roughly 50-50 mixture with hydrazine, known as C. Stoff. The use of methanol as a motor fuel received attention during the oil crises of the 1970s. By the mid-1990s, over 20,000 methanol. Flexible fuel vehicles. Capable of operating on methanol or gasoline were introduced in the U.S. In addition, low levels of methanol were blended in gasoline fuels sold in Europe during much of the 1980s and early 1990s. Automakers stopped building methanol FFVs by the late 1990s, switching their attention to ethanol-fueled vehicles. While the methanol FFV program was a technical success, rising methanol pricing in the mid to late 1990s during a period of slumping gasoline pump prices diminished interest in methanol fuels. In the early 1970s, a process was developed by Mobil for producing gasoline fuel from methanol. Between the 1960s and 1980s, methanol emerged as a precursor to the feedstock chemicals acetic acid and acetic anhydride. These processes include the Monsanto acetic acid synthesis, Cativa process, and Tennessee Eastman acetic anhydride process. See also Methanol data page References Further reading Robert Boyle, The Skeptical Chemist, 1661, contains a count of distillation of wood alcohol. External links International Chemical Safety Card 0057 Methyl alcohol, methanol, CDC, NIOSH, links to safety information CDC, NIOSH Pocket Guide to Chemical Hazards, Methyl Alcohol Methanol Fact Sheet, National Pollutant Inventory